Owners on Cleveland's historic Shaker Square say they've been dealing with a sewage nightmare now for months. They say cleanups are costing them big money and the constant smell is keeping customers away during this busy holiday season. It just takes people to solve it. And, and we have yet to see the people in ownership of Shaker Square solve this problem. The city of Cleveland did appoint new ownership of this financially embattled Shaker Square business district in September of 2022. Parking, lighting, building improvements have been made in just the last year. But News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis tells us some Shaker Square business owners say major upgrades are still desperately needed. They know what the problem is. They're not doing anything about it. This is, this is ownership and they need to fix it. Edwin's restaurant owner Brandon Krastowski is running a fine French dining experience on the first floor of his Cleveland Shaker Square business. But in the basement, pictures and video of a severe sewage struggle. Multiple raw sewage backups causing constant cleanups and a pungent sewer odor. We got two or three staff devoted to continue to clean or continue to monitor, uh, make phone calls to, to do what uh, you know, an owner should do. It's the same chronic issues at Shaker Square dry cleaning and tailoring. It's very tough. It's very tough. It's been going on uh, for some time. Owner Elena Kramerman says she contacted Foss Real Estate Management, Shaker Square co-owner Cleveland Neighborhood Progress, and the city of Cleveland about the persistent sewage smell, but so far no permanent fix has been found. You know, we have beautiful wedding dresses and custom-made suits here, and uh, when the customer walks in, instead of nice smell that we normally have, you smell the sewer. Shaker Square Nails owner Win Win says raw sewage smell is hurting her daily business. I pay rent every month and uh, um, uh, customer come to the shop. I don't expect that, you know, we have to handle this, the bad smelling while we give them the service. News 5 reached out to Foss Real Estate Services and it responded immediately, telling us it just took over management of the square in September of this year. It says major electrical, lighting and parking lot improvements have already been made, including the return of the classic Christmas lights on the square. It said plumbing repairs are at the top of the list for January. Still though, when it comes to sewage issues, the Shaker Square business owners we talk to are hoping for more deeds and less dialogue in the coming days. They are talking about it for a long time, but it's time to start doing something. So Enough talking. And News 5 reached out to Cleveland Ward 4 Councilwoman Deborah Gray for this story. She acknowledged that she did reach out to Cleveland Neighborhood Progress about the sewage situation here on Shaker Square and said that organization is putting together a repair plan, something that should be completed in the coming weeks. You know, News 5 will follow through on this developing story. Reporting right here in Cleveland, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis.